My name's Jackie. Um, by day I'm a nurse. I do telephone triage and the rest of my time is spent either with my children um, and the rest of my time is spent working on some project, one thing or another, whether that's helping here at the theater doing props or working on my own artwork. Um, pretty much at least two or three times a week I'm working on some sort of craft art project. My first memory of doing anything artistic and creative that was not school assigned was when I was 13 years old. Um, I actually made a loom bracelet by taping the threads to my mom's coffee table and beating around them. Um, no idea what it was, this is before internet, and shortly thereafter, I would say within about 24 hours, my mom had actually bought me an Indian loom for bead weaving because she did not want me taping to her tables. Um, Beads stayed a part of my life all through high school. Um, I was always creating a little keychain or earrings or something to that extent. Um, in the last few years, I've mostly concentrated on doing beadwork. And then I've always had this interest in painting and never felt like I was artistic enough to make designs and shapes that look like anything. Uh, about six or seven months ago, I saw a YouTube video on someone pouring paint on rocks and I was intrigued. Every video I could find on pour painting I watched. Um, websites, research on what this is and how do I do this. Um, so I had most of the supplies already at my house and around July of this year I took my first venture and I went outside around 10 o'clock in the morning and it was eight o'clock before I stopped and came inside. I went through every canvas that I had. I was pouring on tiles, I was pouring on rocks just to see what was going on, what different things I could do, and I was hooked. Um, so these paintings behind you have all been done in the last few months. Um, and they're just, it's, it's a love. Every time I go outside, it has to be a day where I know that nothing else is going on because each painting leads to what if I tried this with the next one? What if I tried that with the next one? Um, some of the techniques I've seen and I adapt them with things that I have so I don't have to purchase more supplies, figure out what else I can do to make something look good. And every time I get one done, um, it's such a neat process because it changes from the moment I pour the paint on the canvas um, with these, a lot of them get tipped and turned. I'm covered from head to toe in paint, um, and I just watch it develop and change. And there's no, no idea from the moment that I pick my colors to the moment that it's completely dry what it's going to look like, and it just evolves from start to finish. The thing that I found that inspires me the most when I am doing the pore paintings is reggae. Um, I will turn on a little revolution and the vibe just takes me to this place where I'm, I'm lost. Um, people have to interrupt me to remind me it's time to stop or it's time to make dinner or something needs to be done because it just transports me to another place and gives me that happy vibe. So I'm not really fond of what they call a dirty pour, where you slowly pour all your paints in one color, or in one cup, and then pour it on and move it around. Um, I haven't quite mastered that technique to not get that muddy mix of colors. Um, I do a lot of circles, um, layering the different colors on, um, and then I decide what the next step is, which mostly ends up with me picking up the paint, the, the canvas with the paint all on it, moving it and tipping it until I see something that I like. Um, and then there's a variety of different things that I do. I'll do what they call a swipe, where you kind of get one side with one solid color, generally white or black, and then you use, I use a credit card, and I slide that over and it just pops up all these vibrant cells, the circles of the different colors coming through the white. Um, some of the newer paintings I've been doing have been a string pull technique where you dip the paint in another, the string in another color and you lay it out and pull it down. It gives the great flower appearance on some of my paintings. So what I see next for me, I'm enjoying the poor paintings um, more than I could ever imagine. I could do this all day every day and be happy. Um, the different techniques and the different 
things that I can try. I'm constantly on the lookout everywhere I go. I could use that. I could use that to swipe across my painting. I could use that to make different imprints on my painting. Um, there's so many different avenues. Um, I am trying my hand at a little bit more defined painting. Um, I've done okay with a few flowers. I have one ocean scene I'm fairly happy with. So that will be something I continue to pursue. But in all of the types of artwork that I've done from upcycling garbage to beadwork to working with clay, this is my favorite thing. And this is something that I can see myself doing for the next 20 or 30 years very happily.